Hello people, welcome to my first video in my second half of my top thousand countdown. We are now going into the top 500. So on this video, okay, there are 10 more fighters. Um, after which my playlist is finished, I will be taking a break, extended break, to work on my database. So let me get cracking through the last 500. So let us go to the fighter in 500th place, okay. Um, he's a two-weight champion and his name is James Buddy McGirt. James McGirt. There's my phone as soon as I start. James McGirt beat six world champions. He had nine fights against world champions. Let me just silence that. And James McGirt had a total of eight world title fights in total. And James McGirt made three title defences. And against rated fighters, James McGirt had 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had nine fights against top three rated fighters. And James McGirt had zero fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, James Buddy McGirt was top 10 rated for seven years. He was top three rated for two years. And he was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound pound rated fighters, okay, James Buddy McGirt um, had five fights against pound pound rated fighters overall, and he beat two pound for pound rated fighters. So James McGirt uh, just breaks into the top 500 at 500th place. Now, this, of course, was the point. I started my last all-time countdown, my top 500 of all time. Um, thinking I've already done 500 before, this is quite crazy. Um, but onwards and upwards we go um, towards the top 10. The mighty top 10, as I call them. So, let's go to fighter number 499, okay, a former light heavyweight champion trained by Customato, as was Floyd Patterson and Mike Tyson, Jose Torres. Jose Torres beat two world champions in his career, um, he had a total of five fights against world champions overall, and Jose Torres had a total of six world title fights, he made three title defences, and Jose Torres had 12 fights against top 10 rated fighters, he had 11 fights against top 3 rated fighters, and Jose Torres had 5 fights against ring champions. Now as a rated fighter, Jose Torres was top 10 rated for 4 years, he was top 3 rated for 2 years, and he was a ring champion for 1 year, and against pound for pound rated fighters, Jose Torres had a total of 5 fights against pound for pound rated fighters, and he beat three pound for pound rated fighters individually. So Jose Torres comes in 499th place, like I said, former light heavyweight champion. Didn't have a massive career in fight total um, and did quite a bit of work um, in his career, to be honest and fair to him, um, but just didn't have enough uh, to rate any higher. So let us go on to fighter 498, okay, tough um, and durable and dependable um, fighter if you got him on his best day, um, of course he fought Sugar Ray Robinson himself, it is Charlie Fasari, Charlie Fasari um, beat one world champion in his career, he had a total of five fights against world champions overall, and Charlie Fasari comes in with a total of two world title fights, uh, Charlie Fasari made no title defences. And against rated fighters, okay, Charlie Fasari in his career had 22 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had a total of six fights against top three rated fighters. And Charlie Fasari had three fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Charlie Fasari was top 10 rated for six years. He was top three rated for two years. And Charlie Fasari was a ring champion for zero years. And against Power pound rated fighters okay Charlie Fasari had five fights against pound for pound rated fighters and he beat two pound for pound rated fighters individually so Charlie Fasari uh, comes in 498th place of course for Sugar Ray Robinson in Robinson's final welterweight um, title defense a tough a tough and game fighter um, you know so he comes 498th. So let's go on to fighter in number 497th place. Now, in 497th place, um, this fighter is Orlando Canizales, um, a long reigning world champion. Orlando Canizales beat four world champions in his career individually um, and he had a total of eight fights against world champions overall now Orlando Canizales had a large world title fight record he comes in with 17 um, world title fights in total and Canizales made an incredible 15 title defenses um, against rated fighters Orlando Canizales had a total of 14 fights 
um, against top 10 rated fighters. He also comes in with a total of four fights against top three rated fighters. And Orlando Canizales had zero fights against ring champions. Now, Orlando Canizales was top 10 rated for 10 years. He was top three rated for six years. Um, and he was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Orlando Canizales um, had one fight against a pound for pound rated fighter, um, and he beat no pound for pound rated fighters individually. So Orlando Canizales, okay, long reigning world champion, for me, just didn't have a deep enough resume um, to score any higher. So let us go on to fighter number 496. So okay, came from Canizales, we are going back in time to a non-spoken of fighter really by many, except of course Scrabble Boxing, uh, who probably mentions all of these guys here or there. Uh, it is actually Pete Sandstall. Pete Sandstall beat three world champions in his career. Uh, Pete Sandstall had a record of seven fights against world champions overall. And Pete Sandstall comes in with a record of one world title fight. He made zero title defences. And Pete Sandstall had 30 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had a total of 17 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Sandstall had three fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Pete Sandstall was top 10 rated for five years. He was top three rated for three years. And he was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Pete Sandstall had three fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Um, and he beat one pound for pound rated fighter individually. So Pete Stans Sandstall... Uh, less spoken of fighter, okay, European fighter, uh, for a lot of rated opponents, for a number of world champions, um, goes very under the radar, um, but not by the boxing librarian, okay, so let us leave Pete Sandstall in 496, let us go on to fighter number 495, former light welterweight champion, okay, Saul Mambi. Saul Mambi beat three world champions in his career. Um, Saul Mambi also had 15 fights against world champions overall. And Saul Mambi had a total of 10 world title fights. He made five title defences. And against rated fighters, Saul Mambi comes in with a total of 28 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 18 fights against top three rated fighters. And he had three fights against ring champions. Now, Saul Mambi was top 10 rated for a total of eight years. Years. He was top three rated for four years, and Saul Mambi was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Saul Mambi had a total of six fights against pound for pound rated fighters. And Saul Mambi beat one pound for pound rated fighter individually. Mambi's career is huge, covers a huge time span. Um, you know, he had many reverses in his career, but also had those successes, uh, had a world title run at like well away. Um, was a tough competitor. So Saul Mambi comes in 495th place. Now, like Pete Sandstall, okay, in fighter number 494, okay, we are going back in time from Saul Mambi. And like Pete Sandstall, to me, an underrated fighter uh, who never gets mentioned. Um, this fighter in number 494th place um, is called Orgy Ratner. Um, an underrated fighter indeed. Orgy Ratner beat four world champions. Um, he had a total of 15 fights against world champions overall. And Orgy Ratner fought a total of 190 rounds against champions. Now, in terms of Hall of Famers, Augie Ratner beat two individual Hall of Fame fighters and he had a total of 13 fights against Hall of Fame fighters overall. And Augie Ratner fought a total of 138 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Augie Ratner had one world title fight, okay, he made zero title defences and Augie Ratner fought a total of 10 title fight rounds. And against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Augie Ratner comes in with a total of 18, a number that had ratings existed his whole career would have been immensely higher. Um, Augie Ratner had a total of 13 fights against pound for pound rated fighters and and he beat two pound for pound rated fighters individually. Augie Ratner had a very tough career, okay, for many big names and many top level fighters um, in a tough and underrated career, um, as he's non spoken of really nowadays by virtually everyone. So let's go to fighter number 493. Okay, we're going down in weight from Augie Ratner um, to a fighter called Jeff Chandler. 
Jeff Chandler, okay, beat three world champions in his career. Um, he had a total of five fights against world champions overall. And Jeff Chandler had a total of 11 world title fights. Uh, Chandler made nine title defenses, so he had a good little mini title fight run there. Now, against rated fighters, okay, Jeff Chandler um, had 13 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had a total of seven fights against top three rated fighters. And Jeff Chandler had two fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Jeff Chandler was top 10 rated for five years. He was top three rated for four years. And he was a ring champion for four years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Jeff Chandler had zero fights. <clears throat> Excuse me. He had zero fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Um, therefore, Jeff Chandler beat zero pound for pound rated fighters. So, Jeff Chandler comes in 493rd place. Okay, let us now jump on to uh, fighter number 492. 492. So, from Jeff Chandler, we're going back in time, okay? Um, back in time to the early turn of the last century to the middleweight division. Uh, fighter number 493 is middleweight contender Hugo Kelly, who again had a very busy resume. Um, Hugo Kelly beat three world champions in his career. He had a total of 16 fights against world champions overall. And Hugo Kelly comes in with a total of 148 rounds against world champions. Now against Hall of Famers, Hugo Kelly beat two individual Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of 15 fights against Hall of Famers and Hugo Kelly fought 138 rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, Hugo Kelly had one world title fight. He made zero title defences and Hugo Kelly fought three title fight rounds. And against rated fighters, champions are Hall of Famers. Hugo Kelly was a pre-rating era fighter, but interestingly, hitting a total of 16 fights against rated fighters, champions are Hall of Famers. He still has a number higher than many in the countdown so far who've been long-reigning champions, even though that number is shrunk by the fact there were no ratings. So Hugo Kelly had an enormous 18 fights against pound for pound rated fighters, um, including the great Stanley Ketchell and others, and he beat four pound for pound rated fighters individually. So there's Hugo Kelly in number 492. Okay, now let us go on to fighter 491, the last fighter of this 10, the first in my top 500, and it's tough heavyweight contender George Chevalo, who I rate as one of the toughest fighters who has ever lived. George Chevalo beat zero world champions. Um, he had a total of seven fights against world champions overall. And George Chevalo comes in with two world title fights. He made zero title defences. And George Chevalo had 23 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 13 fights against top three rated fighters. And George Chevalo had five fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, George Chevalo uh, was top 10 rated for six years. He was top three rated for one year, and he was a ring champion for zero years. And George Chevalo had five fights against pound pound rated fighters, and he beat no pound pound rated fighters. So, George Chevalo, okay, comes... 10th in this list, okay, I have begun my journey to the end, uh, the literal end, uh, in many ways, um, after my countdown, so George Chevalo um, tops this first 10, of course, more videos coming soon, I'm working on getting more ready in the background, um, you know, many, many more videos to come before we get to that all important top 10 and number 1, um, but... You know, there's my latest video in the can. Um, so more videos coming soon. I'll catch you later. I'm out for now. <laughs>